good morning. Um, I've enjoyed a slow morning. I actually woke up like three, four hours ago um, and I'm just made myself coffee. I did it my favorite way. It turned out really good today. I put raw turmeric honey and oat milk in and it's so good. <laughs> mm. But I actually just have like a little bit of work to do. And then I'm going to start this um, epic mission of packing my paddleboard for my first overnight trip. Oh yeah, it's my birthday. <laughs> this is my birthday adventure. That's why I'm doing this. Not that I don't want to do this adventure anyways, but it being my birthday, I figure I might as well make it memorable. So yeah, nothing more memorable than our first overnight paddleboard trip to a remote island. I'm very excited. So I've just come here where I have a picnic table and I have lots of flat, um, not pokey ground. I'm gonna inflate the board. I'm gonna get packed up. I'm gonna do a mock um, loading of the board and then we're gonna drive somewhere else to launch. I think that's the right word. <laughs> All right, so I got the paddle board inflated. It takes me a long time still. And today uh, I put it up to a little over 17 PSI. It's supposed to be between 14 and 18. So last time I did the minimum, but today we're gonna have more weight and I just want us to be as far off the water as possible. I think that'll make paddling easier. So I'm just working away on packing up our stuff. Uh, it's been quite the endeavor to get it out because it was in there under my bed and the mattress that goes front to back uh, had to be rolled back to get under. I have to fill up my water and I still have to dig um, under the bed to get some camp meals out but i got food and treats for frank i'm gonna feed him before we go but i'm just bringing a bit extra food in case um we don't get back in one day i don't know <laughs> i think i have everything i need here i have my tent poles pegs ground sheet mat two blankets sleeping bag pillow Tons of warm layers, journal, Dhammapada, which I always bring camping and read. I have a hammock. I don't even know if I'll have time to use that. And I packed some food. I've had no appetite lately, so I have packed more than I would need if I had an appetite. Oh, you're so ready for an adventure, hey? I think I need some strings for this. Okay, so this is more or less how it's gonna go. I got this secured. And then I'm gonna put my jacket in here while I'm paddling. Frank is very ready to go. And then I have just water up here. I feel like there should be more weight up here, but we're gonna improve on this as time goes on. Hey, bud. All right, this guy is ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's already three o'clock. <laughs> So I'm gonna quickly strip this down, throw it in the van. We're gonna head to the launch site and I'll see you there. All right, well, I just went to check out the access to the beach where I plan to launch because it's the closest point to where I wanna stay tonight, to paddle. It's a three to four kilometer paddle to where we're gonna stay. But before we can begin paddling, it turns out there is a huge staircase down to the beach. 105 stairs. Oh boy. <laughs> I probably should have started getting ready for this yesterday. This whole like, I don't have to carry it so I don't have to worry about weight thing. Are you excited, bud? You look very excited. <laughs> nice life jacket, Frank. <laughs> it is low tide, so it's a ways across the beach, but it'll all get easier in time. I think I have to actually walk in the ocean to get us launched. Yeah, you can come get on, Frank. Okay. Stop. <laughs> oh wow, 
Okay, we're make, we're doing it. We're doing it, Frank. No matter where we end up, we are not sleeping in the van tonight. <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> wow. Okay. We're just gonna paddle hard and get there at a reasonable time. Hopefully. What am I looking at? I mean, if I didn't know better, I would say it's a freaking shark. It's definitely not a shark. I don't know what it is. Wow, oh, yes. Oh, we're gonna be on the water at sunset. Oh, there's a seal looking at us. <laughs> I hope it doesn't come say hi. Oh, two seals. Oh, there's a few. Oh, is that a sea lion? Oh, there's seals and sea lions. Fuck. <laughs> it just orphed at us. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm just gonna stay like hopefully where it's too shallow for it to come. Try not to get beached. Oh my god, my adrenaline. Oh, the adrenaline. Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Keep your calm, Amanda. Oh, we're in the trying to keep an eye out for rocks. Oh, some excitement. Oh, there's so many seals. Oh, they're surrounding me. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm, I honestly, this is all I can do for filming right now because um, I'm paddling pretty hard. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm really scared. Oh, my God. oh they're everywhere. Oh, there's dozens. Dozens and dozens. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, they can't swim here. They can't swim here, it's very shallow. Oh my god, all the paddle just hit the bottom. My fin hit the bottom. Okay, it's a little shallow. Gotta go a little deeper. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna try to go to land over here. This might be a bit of a walk. It's just really shallow. And if I'm sitting on it, the fin digs in. I wanted an adventure. I freaking got one. Oh, okay, everything at once. Because the tide is coming in, and this will not be walkable for long. Oh, I don't even know if you can see me, but you can hear me. Oh. Okay, so I've made a serious judgment of error. Error of judgment. Um, I just went to this land here thinking it would be like where we could camp, but it turns out there's like a long mud flat between there and the actual island. And I don't know if this will um, like be fully above high tide. So we're back in the water. Um, I had to like walk the board for quite a while with Frank on. And now I'm going to switch to paddling. The tide's coming in, so we should be able to get over there, but I'm just going to paddle to stay warm. 
<sighs> until we can get to land. So since getting this board, I've really wanted to be out at sunset. I did not expect that sunset uh, on the water would turn into an unplanned paddle in the dark. I'm just about to crest the northern edge of this island chain and turn back and head to the one that I plan to sleep on. It's a couple kilometer paddle still, so it'll be after dark when we get there. So I will see you when we get there or something really eventful happens, which hopefully it doesn't because it's already been a lot of adventure. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Oh, well, hello from my little camp. Um, I forgot a headlamp. Somehow. It's probably sitting right inside my van. So I have my cell phone up here with the light on. Last time I talked to you, I was like rounding the northern end of this island chain, uh, which like is really big at a super low tide and they all become connected and my three kilometer paddle turned into a nine plus kilometer paddle to get here. I got blisters on both my thumbs and have worn them. They're raw, like they're just raw. So as I rounded the northern end um, and I had just said goodbye to you for a little while, I got myself beached. So there it was after sunset, about to be dark. <laughs> moments before being totally dark um in the ocean again i had to get off my board and push until i could be properly afloat and at this point i had already taken off the long fin so i could do better job in shallow water then i got on <laughs> and i'm paddling and paddling and paddling and it's dark at this point <laughs> um and there was like an area where the land like made like a crescent and instead of like I went across well that put me in deeper water and the seals a couple seals had come around and followed me um and I'm like okay well whatever it's just a seal <laughs> um and I'm paddling and I'm paddling really fast like by far the hardest I've paddled so far which is why my thumbs are raw uh <laughs> and then I hear something behind me and it's a sea lion and it's close behind me so I'm like paddling as fast as I can to get to like shallower water um, and so I got into a place where it couldn't go or like wouldn't go um, and then I it like rolled upside down and had all its fins in the air like its side fins its tail fins and like kind of its head and like, I don't know if it, like, beached itself trying to follow me. The tide's coming in, so I know it's fine. But that was the thing I saw at the beginning. And I was like, what is that? Is that a whale? Is that a log? It was an upside-down sea lion. So that was scary. Like, I was really scared paddling away from these creatures. And it's dark. And I don't have a light. <laughs> So I'm paddling on the ocean in the dark, being pursued by seals and sea lions. And then I like come around to this side of the island and there's like oncoming wind and like the tides coming at this point. So like it was like getting like quite rough feeling, which like I know is still a very calm sea, but like for me it felt really rough. And there was like little waves like splashing over the front of the deck. I hit land. Like, it was shallow for quite a way, so I had to get in the ocean once again, pushing the board and, like, holding the fins up so I can push everything so Frank can get off and, like, stay pretty dry. Um, and so I get, like, my board, like, beached. <laughs> I'm, like, in shallow water. Everything from the knees down is completely numb. It's been wet for hours, and it's, like, just above freezing outside. Like, the ocean's cold. The air is almost freezing. So I unstrap my backpack. And I go to like throw it on my back and because like everything was numb and like the sand was like wet and soft, it like th threw me off balance and I ended up in the water. <laughs> so now I'm like not just like wet butt and like wet back of my legs and like knees and feet. Like I'm wet. <laughs> Took a couple trips. I got everything way up on land. Like I'm under this massive arbutus tree. I can't wait to show you tomorrow. But yeah, I was so 
cold, so extremely cold, soaking, freezing, shaking uncontrollably. Oh, but I managed to get warm. I got all my wet clothes off. I got dry clothes on. I brought lots of dry clothes and blankets and like, yeah, I wrapped Frank up right away. Oh, he's so warm. He's untucked himself. <laughs> um, yeah, and then set up the tent. My feet are not totally freezing. They're still cold, but they're slowly warming up. And I had a cup of tea. The whole getting here was so much. It was so much more than I was expecting to like deal with today. But I also learned so much and I played it safe. I was always close to land. I, I almost the entire paddle I could have just gotten off and stood up in the water and like w like walked to land like like I was safe in that terms but yeah like very close to hypothermia um and like absolutely terrified paddling in the dark being pursued and I was just like so scared so much adrenaline and then there would just be moments where like I just felt amazing. Like, I felt so alive. <gasps> so incredibly alive. And, like, wanted to cry because it was, like, such a beautiful experience. And, like, so amazing to have this, like, epic adventure with my old dog. Who, like, I had started to believe we wouldn't have these types of adventures. And here we are. <laughs> I'm just making dinner... Um, I'm gonna have this it's bean and couscous chili. Uh, Frank is here sleeping. Good morning. Um, really tired. My body's really sore from the intense paddling last night to get here and get away from the sea lion. So, yeah, I'm pretty sore. I think it's going to be a hard day today, but uh, the tide is favorable. That's like the sea lion. Belly up with all his fins in the water. Some seal friends. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I'm just uh, <laughs> returning from the outhouse. Um, yeah, the sea lion is like right off from where I landed last night just hanging out like belly up with like all its fins in there I don't know what it's doing I don't really like that it's chosen to hang out like I feel like it's stalking me I don't know why a sea lion would stalk me but oh, I just like hardly ever see sea lions in my life and then I get a paddleboard now two out of three ocean trips I've run into them seals otters so much wildlife in my life lately. <laughs> Do you want to come back inside, Frank? There you go. Well, come this way, though. Come this way. Yeah. Good boy. Oh. A fur. And it's pretty chilly out. <laughs> Probably like just above freezing <laughs> and it's a little breezy um not like so much I can't paddle against it but it will just make it colder but I also get pretty warm paddling so anyways I'm not in a rush to leave <laughs> I have a couple hours till high tide so I have some time to be able to uh go straight across I can see it's all water right now uh there's also a sea lion mm -hmm. Hanging out, <laughs> just like over there, exactly where I need to be going. So, hi. Oh, I know. We're gonna keep. We're gonna stay safe. Um. So yeah, we make coffee, and we're just gonna cuddle for a little bit. I'm just gonna enjoy the view and hope that this wind 
blows the clouds away and the sun comes out and we can just have like a glorious little romp around the island and paddle back. That would be really nice. Uh, but if not, <laughs> this has been really memorable and we're only halfway. Thanks to my through hiking days, I am capable of doing everything lying down. <laughs> The legs what actually it was really nice to have like a huge adventure last night get in here just be exhausted terrified relieved so many feelings and then like get up to go pee and like oh just be able to walk like my legs just worked <gasps> i didn't buckle to the ground i wasn't like wincing in pain it was amazing to be like tired and exhausted and like mentally fried but i have working legs because yeah usually all my adventures are like really leg heavy but last night I was like laying in my tent and I heard something like hit the ground like out of this tree behind me and then like scurry away and I was like uh what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> what's here <laughs> and I was like whatever it didn't sound big it's your favorite yeah. so precious okay oh yeah Instant coffee helps if the water's hot. Oh. oh, look how messy I am. Look at this disaster. Like, I just slept in this pile. Like, my head was, like, whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I was just so happy to be alive last night. Like, I just, I was so cold. It was so hard to function, so... <laughs> Once I got warm, I wasn't going to deal with tidying. I was just going to be warm and, yeah, grateful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> quite the adventure. <laughs> oh, yum, instant coffee. <laughs> but it's warm and it's coffee and um, yeah, it's gonna be, I mean, hopefully not as big a day yesterday, but it's still gonna be a big day. Honestly, I've had enough for now. I don't even want to like get in the water to like go back to my van, but I can't live here. I can't live here. What? I'm gonna go for a paddle today. <laughs> oh, so last night, um, even though it was dark, uh, I could tell this was a huge Arbutus tree. It brought me so much comfort. So even though I have stuff packed in a waterproof backpack, everything's still in <laughs> Uh, waterproof bags inside the waterproof bag because literally my life depended on it like if all my stuff had gotten wet last night somehow like I wouldn't have been able to warm up um, I might have been able to start a fire but it would have been really hard when I was like that cold I was shaking uncontrollably oh there's gonna be sand everywhere for like <laughs> probably until next winter <laughs> or maybe just the rest of my life at this point i don't know <laughs> i do have my inreach <laughs> which um i keep on my on my person like on me hmm. we got you some jerky sticks Yeah, this was a really good choice of tent because it's smaller and it's quite a bit warmer with the double walled than my other tent, which is like a single walled Dyneema tent. And the other tent also requires like staking to stand up and that would have been really difficult last night um, when I was so cold. Oh, and like a little pro tip. <laughs> Um, always pack your tent away with the door closed so that if when you're setting it up there's tons of mosquitoes it doesn't fill with bugs before you get in. So I actually grew up like nearby in the Comox Valley it's just that way a little bit and so I had seen this island and knew of this island growing up. This is my first time being here so 
really, really cool way to come here for the first time, like to have it be such a big adventure. There we go. Our site as we found it under this beautiful Arbutus tree. Look at this. All right, so I have my <laughs> board and stuff there. Where's my feather? Oh, there it is. Um, but I figure we're just gonna go for a little walk down the beach before we take off. Um, yeah, that'll be fine there. <laughs> the tide's going out and it's above the high tide line. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanna like walk out and get a look at where we're headed. But yeah, we're going there. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but there's water and then there's land. All that water was gone yesterday. It was just mud flat. This is really cool. So I have my bag strapped in. Um, I just have the cord fixed on this D-loop, run through all the strapping, and then loop through here. I have this bite here that allows me to tension it, tie it off, and then there's like the tail is just tied off. That keeps it down to the board, and then this keeps it from sliding. Here I have wet clothes, leftover water, uh, batteries. Um, and everything is affixed. And here I have a precious Frank with your life jacket on, ready to go for a paddle. I'm a little nervous. Oh, first I'm gonna take a pee. I think that's like something you gotta do before you go out in the water. <laughs> Make use of land. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna get sunny right as I get to Got everything. There you go. Now I can keep your legs, your butt warm, and you're not in the way of my paddle. It's a win-win, Frank. All right. That was close. That was really close. I don't know if we would have gone through there. Much less water, but it feels really good to be. Uh, through that channel and um yeah back on the at the main island which is there so we're just gonna paddle more that way to uh, our launch site So we are back <laughs> on solid land. <laughs> I still feel like I'm moving. It's kind of weird. I felt it last night. I laid down in bed and I feel, just gotta get all the stuff up these stairs. <sighs> Feels good to be back. It was a very good adventure. Uh, a little full value, I would say. Um, <sighs> yeah, but it just feels amazing. <laughs> Feels amazing to have pulled that off and such a good memory now. And oh, 
a lot of excitement. <laughs> a lot of excitement. Out there. Um, so I wanted so badly to enjoy the sun at camp this morning and on that island. Yeah, it comes out as soon as I get to land. <laughs> But I just got to uh, deflate this board, get it up those stairs, and then we're gonna go hang out somewhere nice or have a nap or something like that. Maybe eat. I'm exhausted, to say the least. <laughs> So I've just figured out I can wear the kayak seat as a backpack. So I have both my hands for the paddleboard to get up these stairs. So also these gloves with the little grippies were awesome for paddling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I bought them years ago for like the sun and then just kept them. <laughs> Oh, it feels good. <laughs> These types of adventures have been a part of mine and Frank's life as long as we've been together. So it's really awesome that we're doing it again, even though he's old and can't really walk far, which is exactly what I got the paddleboard for, is it, to do this type of thing. So I'm really looking forward to what's coming up. I learned so much from this trip. Looking forward to some long trips on the lakes where I don't have to deal with sea lions. Um, because they terrify me. I didn't realize I was scared of them until this trip, but they absolutely terrify me. Anyways, I've said more than enough in this episode already, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I got some good stuff coming up, um, and yeah, I really appreciate you, so thank you, and have a great day. Bye!